Good morning. Can Jesus raise the dead? My name is Larry Kirkpatrick. I'm the pastor of the Muskegon and Fremont, Michigan Seventh-day Adventist churches. I'm so glad you've joined us for these devotional moments this morning. We're going to look today at Mark chapter 5, and there's a lot going on here. We're just going to look in this devotional at verses 21 uh, through 24 and 35 to 43. I'll read them right now. Now when Jesus had crossed over again by boat to the other side, a great multitude gathered to him, and he was by the sea. And behold, one of the rulers of the synagogue came, Jairus by name, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet and begged him earnestly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her that she may be healed, and she will live. So Jesus went with him, and a great multitude followed him and thronged him. Now we're going to jump down where this continues after the incident we'll deal with tomorrow. We continue at verse 35. While he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house and said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not be afraid. Only believe. And he permitted no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. And then he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and saw a tumult and those who wept and wailed loudly. When he came in, he said to them, Why make, why make this commotion and weep? The child is not dead but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. But when he had put them all outside, he took the father and the mother of the child and those who were with him and entered where the child was laying. And he took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha Kumi, which is translated little girl, I say to you, arise. Immediately the girl arose and walked, for she was twelve years of age, and they, they were overcome with great amazement. But he commanded them strictly that no one should know it and said that something should be given her to eat. Very interesting, that last detail. So, uh, Jesus, Jesus can he raise the dead? Well, here's one of those cases where he actually literally raises the dead. And, and people are surprised. Jesus has been known to stop, uh, to raise the dead and also to stop funerals. And here we have a funeral in progress right now with this uh, deceased little girl. But Jesus stopped it. And I think it's pretty interesting, the very last piece. Jesus, he takes care of the big things. You know, raising the dead, in my, in my book, that's a big thing. But it's interesting also that he says, you know, hey, sh she's, she's had a terrible time. Give her, give her something to eat. So Jesus is ready for her to, you know, have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich after she's been raised from the dead because she's probably a hungry little girl. Jesus uh, is interested even in the small things. Kind of a nice touch there from Jesus. So Jesus cares about you. He cares about the hairs on your head. He cares uh, in every respect, and he even cares about small details. That's the kind of God that we serve. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Thank you that you raise the dead, that you have that kind of power. Thank you that we know you as one who even raises the dead. Raise us, Lord, by your power, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God be with you today, and have a wonderful day. Uh, the Lord has that same power still, and if he, can, if he can make planets, if he can raise the dead, he can help you and I with our biggest and deepest spiritual challenges that you're facing today, on this day, he can help you with it.